Oh, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, we don't always get everything right and that's okay. And that's the topic which we're going to be talking about today. So it's okay that something has gone wrong or perhaps you haven't done it correctly or perhaps it's just gone completely pear-shaped. That's okay. It happens to all of us. And just recently, I have had a couple of instances with that. And I think we can go through times in life where that happens. But the most important thing is to get back up and to go again. I love the saying and it defines me in some of my most memorable sort of difficult moments where it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back up. A couple of weeks ago, I really put my foot in it. I really did with somebody. I was in the office with one of my colleagues and... Very sadly, their mother had just passed away. I think she was a lady in about, um, my, my colleague is a lady in, I would say, later 50s, possibly. So, and I know her mother had not long moved into a care home. And from looking after my nan, I am a huge advocate for care and really being with your loved one and keeping, uh, particularly through the journey of Alzheimer's or dementia, of really being there and supporting. And I understand that some people can and some people can't. So I have always got quite a lot of, to say on that topic about caring and then that person may have an illness, but yet they still have a life as well. As I always say, my nan had Alzheimer's, but she also had a life. And that's what I stood with her throughout her whole journey. And she's always my life now, even though she is in heaven up above. So on this particular day, um, it was the first time I'd seen uh, my colleague since uh, she had lost her mum. And straight away, uh, I expressed my condolences and I said how very sorry I was. Having said that straight off, what I should have done is approach the topic very differently. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, it couldn't have been helped and there was a lot of emotion going. Yeah, but... I didn't approach it correctly, and in my own head, I'd done it wrong. I went up to my colleague and I went to give her a hug, and I felt really, really bad. And she's a lovely lady, and I felt really bad for a long time. A couple of weeks passed, and I had a conversation with her after, and it wasn't until then that I got that relief that it was all okay. I know that a lot of people will think we didn't really do anything wrong there, but to me, I did. So we all do things wrong. Spin that around a bit. It's like, isn't it, that we should take care of ourselves. We know we have to take care of ourselves for in terms of sort of burnout with work. But yet, however, it's that kind of counterintuitive cycle, isn't it, that I actually need to keep working to earn money to be able to have a living and to be able to sustain the lifestyle I desire. And that happens and that goes for all of us. I mean, nowadays, in a cost of living crisis ever reaching across the globe, there is, of course, People are working harder for sometimes less money because, of course, the cost of living in general life is just more and more expensive. Me, myself, I'm trying to grasp where I want to be in life um, and not from a financial aspect, but I'm really trying to get where I want to be. However, I do have to manage and have to be realistic that I do manage a uh, list as long as my arm or different health things going on at the moment. Um, and I've not been particularly great. So there was a couple of times recently where unfortunately I'd probably made my health worse by throwing myself too much and doing far too much at work. And of course, as anybody will know, a wonderful business organisation won't never ever say to you, you're doing too much. They will take in the nicest possible way. But however, of course, I've done something wrong. Now, of course, spin that round again. Now, we've discussed briefly work. We've discussed bereavement. What happens if you say the wrong thing? Let's be honest. It happens to us all. Sometimes life can just be stressful. It really, really can. And sometimes when you may have a disagreement or a crossword, it is because you love and it is because you care. I'm talking in our own families here now. But however, sometimes at the spur of the moment, it can be said wrong. And you can sadly, unfortunately, hurt your loved one's feelings. It's not intended, but sadly it does happen. That's okay. It's what you do next. And on the back of that, it's what you do next, is what we carry through in every scenario. Whether it be something in education, perhaps you've done an exam, perhaps that it's not gone well, perhaps you've gone for an interview and it's not gone well. Perhaps you're struggling financially or perhaps you're even finding yourself in a relationship where things are just problematic at a moment. I'm trying to be careful how I approach that. 
it's what we do next in every single scenario. Everyone different, but it's what we do next. So number one, the one thing we shouldn't do, which is so easy, is to stop and withdraw within ourselves. So I think the natural instinct for a lot of people sometimes is to, do you know what, I'm just going to shut down completely on that, or sometimes sadly shut down on the whole world for a while and just go in auto mode. So, so sort of like autopilot and just kind of exist. The one thing we can't do when we get something wrong or if we say the wrong thing is just to close down on ourselves and the rest of the world because that just makes things worse. Number one, it makes going to get back up much, much harder. Let's revisit the examples which I discussed. So my colleague in the workplace, I'm not going to stop being there and supporting people. That experience made me feel really, really awful. And for a little while, for a short window, it made me feel like that I actually didn't want to express or to talk to people or even just to sort of reach out and see if somebody was OK in fear that perhaps I might say something wrong. Going forever on the back of that as well, talking about loved ones and saying the wrong thing. Now, I know naturally we would never just stop talking, but sometimes it can almost spur different emotions and we can kind of sometimes construe different things being said for sometimes being maliciously negative or just being downright nasty when actually all it is is just a simple disagreement between loved ones and just a conversation will resolve that. Take that further into say for example if you've not got an interview in my mind within faith you didn't get that because he above has got a better plan for you. Moving on again in your relationship it's just a bump in the road a storm you're going through right now and it will pass. Don't shut down yourself or your partner or your friend or whoever it's regarding. Keep going. Talk about these things. The key which we're coming up against here is that we don't just stop. When something goes wrong, we keep going. We push forward. We break through that wall and we keep going. And we reap the reward at the end of it. Because going back to that saying, which I absolutely love and adore, it's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. And on that note, my friend, don't never ever give up. And you know what? It's OK that something didn't go right. It's OK that you may have made a mistake. It's what you do next what counts. On that note, God bless and take great care. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.